to appreciate everybody. Welcome to this uh, moment at the feet of Jesus to, to, tonight. We are going to learn something that will change our perceptive and our understanding of who we are and uh, our purpose and our functions as children and ministers of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, tonight I want to talk about I'm not an entertainer. I'm not an entertainer. I believe you're not an entertainer. Personally, I'm not an entertainer. So I believe that somebody that is in this meeting, you are not an entertainer. I want to appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for being available for this class. May God bless you and increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are before the presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and His power is available in this place today in Jesus' name. So I want you to open together with me in the book of Judges chapter number 16. Judges chapter number 16 verses number 15. Glory to Jesus. Now the Bible says that and she said unto him how can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and have not told me wherein your great strength lies. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him so that his soul was vexed unto death that he told her all his heart and said to her there has not come a laser upon my head for i have been a nazarite unto god from my mother's womb if i be shaved then my strength will go from me and i shall come weak and be like any other man father lord i want to appreciate you tonight for this moment that we are gathered before you to learn of your word your wisdom and your knowledge mighty god i pray that father you use this moment to teach us mysteries of the kingdom how to carry on in our service in the ministry that you have called us in jesus name that lord we will not become entertainers but we will serve the purpose and the intention of which you have anointed and made us to be who we are today it is in the name of jesus christ that i pray everybody wherever you are you can say amen and God will bless you in Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, uh, we are talking, uh, we are, where we have just read is just a pretext of the context of the story of a man by the name Samson. Now, we have heard about the great thing that this man did. Samson, Samson is known to be a warrior. Samson is not to be a great man who did great things. Initially, this man did great things because, number one, he was busy serving God. He was busy, dedicated, concentrating on the things of God. So by so, nothing could have interrupted him until he lost his focus. He is a man that we hear in the history that there is no man who had ever been strong like Moses. There had most of us in spite of being anointed, in spite of the anointing that is upon our head, 
despite of how God has called us into greatness, sometimes we give the enemy attention and the moment you do that, I always say, if you give the devil attention, the devil will give you directions. So the moment Samson gave Delilah attention, now we hear Delilah pushing him to tell him the secret behind his power. He was a man of power. You may be here, you are the Samson of today. When you pray for people, their sickness are healed. When you speak the word, miracles manifest. You may be the Moses of the time. You are creative. So for you to maintain that anointing, for you to maintain the speed, the pace of which God has called you into ministry, you need to pay attention to the cause and to the purpose that is in your life. Many of the people who are called, anointed, assigned for great things, but the moment money came in you began to focus on money you began to focus on the people you shifted your focus from the source of your power from the source of your anointing now the bible says that delilah every day she was on samson's neck pestering him to tell her the secret behind his power Remember, I'm talking about, I am not an entertainer. I believe you are not an entertainer. Now, this is where the problem with the life of Samson began. He was doing so well. His record was doing so good. When there is morning glory, Samson will attend church and pray. When there was service, Samson was never let. To come and make sure that he has attended the service. When it was time for, serve, uh, for Samson to serve God. Samson was available to see to it that he gave the best of his service to God. Now he met somebody. Child of God, you need to be careful with associations. You need to be careful with who you give your attention because there are people, child of God, they are men the moment you give attention. They begin to give you directions that are opposite to the purpose and the way that God intends you to go. Now the Bible says in verses number 16. And she made him sleep. This is a trick of the enemy. When the enemy wants to turn you into an entertainer, number one, the enemy will make you sleep. Ha. Upon her knees. So the enemy will act like he is giving you comfort. Sometimes if the enemy knows that your problem is money, he will make sure that he does not touch your money so that he can make you comfortable. That is why you sin. You still come to church. You pray for people. Miracles are happening. It is because the enemy has caused you to sleep at its knees. And she called for a man and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. This is the pattern that the enemy uses. The enemy will always find somebody. The Bible says that she called for a man. There are people that the enemy will bring in your life. There are people that the enemy will bring in your life and their purpose 
is to draw your attention from God and what God has ordained and anointed you to do. To see to it that you will focus your attention to the things that do not glorify God. The devil will send someone to come and steal what God has invested in your life. The devil will send someone to cause you to lose. It is my prayer today that maybe you are in the position of sleeping at the enemy's knee and the enemy has caused you to be so comfortable such that now the enemy is looking for the right person for the job to see to it that child of god you will not pray to see to it that you will not come to the service to see to it that you will be interacted with your duties in the house of god i pray that god will open your eyes for you to be able to see what the enemy is doing in darkness the enemy will always wait when you are asleep so that he can come in and uproot what god has planted in your system and plant in his own you are not going to be an entertainer you are not going to be an entertainer the bible says and she began to afflict him this is the pattern that the devil uses to turn great men who are anointed for greatness to turn great women who are appointed to become men of value the bible says that she began to afflict him and his strength went from him so that is what the enemy is targeting the enemy knows that the moment you lose your strength the moment you have lost that urge to pray the moment you have lost that urge for you to read the word that is when the devil knows that now I have got her. I have got him. The Bible says, verses number 20, And she said, The Philistines be upon you, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep. Huh. You know, when the enemy has dealt with you, he will always come to confirm if what he has done in your life is effective and the bible said the woman shouted to samson and say alas the enemies are here it is time for you to do deliverance it is time for you to prophesy it is time for you to heal the sick it is time for you to serve god listen the Bible says he awoke from his sleep. It is dangerous. It is dangerous for you to sleep even for a moment because the devil just needs that one minute to plant something in your spirit. The devil is waiting you for sleep to sleep just one minute. And get to that pornography side. And get to that side that does not glorify God. So that the devil can introduce you to some things. You know it takes one minute. It takes ten minutes. Five minutes. Two minutes. For the devil to get your attention. To initiate you into something. That will take you ears for you to come out the bible says that he awoke from his sleep and said i will go out 
as at other times. Ah, hey. I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. <laughs> hey. Oh my God. And he wished not that the Lord was departed from him. Samson did not know that the presence that was causing him to do wonders, the power, the unction that was making him to prophesy, that ability, that supernatural power that was aiding him to do what he was doing. He never knew that it was not with him. He never knew that this time round he was alone. This time round God was not involved. Huh. And the Bible says, verses number 21. You know, he arose from his sleep thinking that I will go and prophesy like I did yesterday. I will go and pray like I did last Sunday. I will go and preach like I did lunch hour. What he didn't know was that the enemy has taken the most important element of his life. We are reading the book of Judges chapter number 16. Verses 21, the Bible says the Philistine took him and put out his eyes. Ah. And brought him down to Gaza and bound him with, with fetters of brass. And he did greed in the prison house. Look at a man who is anointed, appointed, and assigned to become a warrior, a deliverer. The children of Israel were relying upon Samson. The children of Israel, they were relying upon Samson to fight their battles. Now their Samson right now is in the hands of the enemy. Why? Because he gave the enemy attention. And the moment he did, you know what the enemy needs is just that one minute. Just that one phone call. Just that one message. One connection. And that it is. And that is it. And the Bible says that this man, they caught Samson. They took off his eyes. To see to it that his life will be full of darkness. So that he can never see anything. When the enemy is dealing with an anointed. The enemy is always determined to see that. There is darkness in your life. There is blindness in your life. So that you don't see anything. Eyes are powerful. Eyes are powerful. Child of God, eyes are powerful. That is why Jesus healed all the blind men he met in his ministry. Because he understood what it takes for one to be blind. It is through your eyes. That the light of God can enter your life. It is through your eyes. That you can be able to perceive and see. It is through your eyes child of God. That you can be able to learn and acquire knowledge. The blind men. They have their own school. But you cannot compare the blind. You cannot compare their performance with the people who have got eyes. 
The Bible says they took off his eyes. Oh my God. And brought him down to Gaza. Initially, his position was serving God. Now what the enemy is doing is making sure that he is taking him from the presence of God. Now Samson cannot attend service anymore. Now Samson cannot be part of the service. Now Samson cannot be in the fellowship. Why? Because the enemy has taken him to his camp. One of the things that the enemy will make sure to do to your life is that he will separate you from where you are sourced with power. From where you are sourced with knowledge. From where you are sourced. I declare to 20 people following this service in the name of Jesus. From wherever you are. From today in Jesus mighty name. Nothing will get you out of the presence of God. Nothing will get you out from your source of power. The Bible says they took this great warrior, took off his eyes, took him to their camp, and they turned him to grill, to grind in the prison. A warrior who has been living his life prepared to become a savior investment has been done to see to it that Samson will fulfill the purpose that God has called him to fulfill imagine how you have been praying fasting reading the word of God having to deny yourself the pleasure of the world to become a vessel that God can use and now the enemy takes you. He turns you into something less of your value. Child of God, it is important for you to realize. For you to understand who are you. What is your position in the things of God and in the realm of the spirit. What is your rank? What is your assignment? You did not come to earth by accident. It is not by coincidence that your mother was pregnant and you are even if she was raped. You are in the plan of God to exist. Because the Bible says before I formed you. Before you are formed in your mother's womb. I knew you. Ordained you. There is something that God ordained you for. There is something that God chose you for. That is why we hear of a language called, a word called destiny. There is a destiny over the life of everybody. And that is what the devil is fighting. To see to it that you will not leave. To realize your destiny. But I declare tonight in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God is opening your eyes. God is bringing you to your position. Of understanding and realizing who you are. In the realm of the spirit and in the things of God. And the Bible says verses number 22. How be it the hair or his head began to grow again after he was shaved. Verse 23, the Bible says, Then the lords of the Philistine gathered themselves for to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon their God and to rejoice for they said, our God has delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. 
Do you know how many people celebrate when you're not coming in church? Do you know how many people celebrate when they hear that you are no longer praying the way you used to pray? Do you know how many people will call for a party to celebrate because this service has been closed? Somebody today came here and tried to temper with our room on Imo. You cannot stop this. You cannot stop this. Ah. <laughs> you cannot stop this. We are not here for entertainment. We are here to experience God. We are here to experience the author and the beginner of this ministry. You know, people may think that when a man of God is ministering with all the charisma, diligently serving God, being present every time he's needed to be present, doing what God has told him to do. This thing is not easy. It is not easy, child of God. And that is what the devil is fighting. Wherever there is value, wherever there is value, I told you my testimony one day, I'm in church like this and my prophet calls me. And he tells me, Jephthah, come, I want to anoint you. And the words that followed were today, I make you a voice. Ha! Kalego shatarabali shada. Chado, I didn't choose this. I didn't choose this. And that is why God is fighting the call the purpose, the divine assignment to see to it that you will not serve, you will not move to the direction where God has purposed and intended you to be. They took him to Gaza. Now they have put a party to celebrate one man. Ah, I love, I love Samson. I love Samson. Child of God, be problematic to your enemy until the enemy will have no peace. The Bible says they called for a party. The lords of the Philistines called for this gathering ah, to rejoice to their God, Dagon. It was not Dagon that delivered Samson into their hands. It was the reluctant of Samson that got him into the hands of the enemies. Sometimes we chase the credit where credit is not due. Because of your mistake, there are principles, child of God, that if you follow, your life will prosper. They are principles that child of God, if you ignore, your life will begin to strain. Why? Because they are principles and God is principled to his principles. Sometimes when we fail to do what we are supposed to do, the devil takes advantage. Sometimes when we open the door, the devil takes advantage. We find ourselves addicted. We find ourselves bound. We find ourselves trapped. And we are struggling. Asking God, why did you let me get here? Why lest it is your fault that you are in the hands of the enemies. Alagashira balagata fasata. The Bible says, verse 24, And when the people saw him, they praised their God. Look at how your enemies are celebrating. 
Every time you are failing to pray, every time you don't read the word, every time you don't go to church, every time you don't give your offering, every time you don't pay your tithe, every time you don't give yourself to God, every time you don't help the needy, every time you are neglecting the principles and the words of God, the enemies are busy celebrating because they know the more you are doing that, the closer they are about to celebrate. Kalingo saparela gishata barogata. I pray that God will open somebody's eyes in this place. I pray that Lord will keep you to stand firm in prayers, in searching God, in living a holy life. The Bible says, For they said our God had delivered into our hands our enemy and the destroyer of our country, ah, which killed many of us. You may not know what you are doing, child of God, but look at the enemy confessing that. Samson was a troublemaker to the whole nation. Right now, as we gather here to our service on Emo, on Facebook, on YouTube, there are people who are troubled because they are wondering what move is this? Where is this person coming from? Ha! Huh. Your two-minute prayer that you neglect can change a lot of things in the realm of the spirit. Your one hour in this class can polish a lot of ignorance in your understanding. Do not neglect these actions of faith that we do. Do not ne neglect this gathering that we do every day. <laughs> they are saying that this man has killed many of us you know every time we are here do you know how many demons are in trouble here in Imo do you know how many demons are in trouble on Facebook on YouTube it is because there is something that has arrived Kalo Joko Pazagara Hada Tonight things are changing. Tonight our enemies are falling. Tonight every witch against our lives, they are falling. We declare death in their camp. Whatever they have prepared against our lives, it will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, it will not prosper. It will not prosper. Verse 25, the Bible says, And it came to pass, when their hearts were merry, that they said, Call for Samson, that he may make a spot. Call for Samson, that he may entertain us. Ah! A whole judge. A whole prophet, a mighty man that God has been grooming, investing value in him, investing power. Now he has turned into an entertainer only because he entertained one woman, Delilah. I don't know who is your Delilah. I don't know what is your Delilah. But I decree tonight in the name of Jesus. I separate you from any Delilah. That is causing you not to concentrate on the purpose. That God has called you for. Kalebo Shagara Hasataba. Samson was doing so good. Samson, you, 
His life was so good when he was busy serving God. That is why we are always busy here. Morning glory. We are praying. Lunch hour. We are in service. Very soon at 3 p.m. We are beginning prayers every day. No, 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 no. Monday to Friday. At 3 p.m. So that we can be busy. Pushing this thing. Charging ourselves for the next level. When the enemy is waiting for us to fall in their lap. To fall under their captivities. When the enemies are working out tricks to trap us. We will be busy focused on God. And God will be sharpening our spirit. God will be opening our eyes so that we can be able to see every sneer. 5417 Isaiah. The Bible says that no weapon. No weapon. Fashioned against you shall prosper. I declare that verse you are portion tonight. In the name of Jesus. No weapon fashioned against your anointing shall prosper. This man has been, had been serving God mightily. Every Philistine knew the name Samson. Every Philistine feared the man Samson. Why? Because there was an impact. There was something that was generating out of his anointing. There was some impact that he was making against the enemy. And that is why the enemy could not stop hunting his life. Child of God, you need to be sensitive because when you go to sleep, demons do not sleep. Your enemies are determined every day to see to it that one time they will hit you to fall. The enemy is always devoted. You know, we are fighting spirits that are older than Adam. The demons we are fighting, some of them are older than Abraham. They are older than our great great grandfather. So these demons, they are skilled. These demons that we are fighting, child of God, they are skilled demons. They have been trained ever since they existed. And all they know is to cause you to become immoral. Is to cause you to fall into temptation. This enemy has been in existence long even before you are born. So you need to be sensitive. You need to wake up from your sleep. And understand that child of God. Thank you, Jesus. I declare tonight in the name of Jesus. I declare tonight in the name of that God will give you the knowledge and wisdom for you to deal with this enemy that is after your anointing, that is after your destiny. That is after whatever brings greatness in your life. The Bible says when they were merry, when the party was at its climax, they remembered in our midst there is a troublemaker. In our midst there is somebody who used to cause us sleepless nights. And they say now bring him here. Bring that prophet here. Bring that apostle here. Bring that bishop here. Bring that intercessor here. So that he can come and entertain us. Far be it from us that we will become entertainers. We are anointed for greatness. 
child of god you are anointed for greatness beyond your ability to understand whatever god has called you into is greater than your life this is the greatness that the enemy is fighting this is the greatness that the enemy is after this is why every time the devil is committed to see to it that you will not have enough money so that you will pursue money and neglect the things of god ha. you know most of you 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 are waiting for that time for the enemy to show up on your door and tell you i am the devil i have come to make you immoral the devil is very cunning the devil knows that the moment he does that, you cannot agree to it. That is why he will bring something that looks like the truth to get you into his lies. He will bring something that looks like it is godly to trap you into sin. But I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that your ministry will be secured. That your life will be secured. It is important that child of God whatever you do don't be so comfortable with that level that you are operating at right now. Don't be comfortable. Because what will cause you to stop praying is when you begin to feel like you have received enough. You have got enough. The moment, child of God, you become contented, you have failed. The moment you become contented with having to pray. You are praying 30 minutes. Now you begin to pray 15 minutes. And you are comfortable. You don't show up. For morning glory. You don't show up for lunch hour. You have the time. You know we understand those people will say that man of God I was working. Man of God. But there are people. You know the moment you accepted Jesus. What you did you declared war. And since then the enemy has determined to see to it that he will put you down and drown every anointing upon your life. The Bible says the Lila, the Lila made sure that he shaved Samson all the locks on his head. The devil wants you powerless. And the moment to become prayerless, definitely in the spirit, you become powerless. The devil wants your money not to be protected. The devil wants your family not to be protected. The devil wants access to come and take what God has put in your life. Because his work is to steal, to destroy, and to kill. He stole the anointing of Samson. He destroyed his identity. Took off his eyes. A man who was born to be a warrior. Now is in the grind mill. In the prison. Child of God you are made for great things. Sometimes don't be comfortable. With that zone that the enemy pushes you at. Sometimes get mad. And try to remind yourself that child of God. You are made for something bigger. You are identified with greatness. You are identified with greatness child of God. 
leha shizo vokata la bazika rahanse da bagata the bible says and they called for samson ah out of the prison house and he made them sport and they set him in between the pillars imagine you are prophet you are pastor you are apostle imagine me having taken by the enemy in a nightclub and they are telling me now you know you cannot make sports without having to put on sports clothes now imagine just imagine me doing acrobats ah ha. entertaining people that i am supposed to be fighting that i am supposed to be shutting down i am there dancing ah. ha. <laughs> it is difficult even for me to imagine that it will not happen whatever trap the enemy has set for you to become an entertainer we bind it tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ child of god you will excel child of god you will serve god to the purpose that he has called you to father in the mighty name of jesus christ i bless your name I exalt you for you are God of everybody that has gathered in our service today. I pray for all the 26 people following this service in the mighty name of Jesus. That Lord after today their lives will never be the same again. Every trick of the devil to steal their destiny is defeated. Every power that works against their the papa that lord you have called them to serve you it is defeated in the name of jesus father i declare that they will serve you as you have called them to serve every spirit that is coming to steal what you have invested in them it is defeated in the mighty name of jesus jehovah god as i make this prayer i hide them in the blood of jesus When they arise against you let the blood of Jesus Christ be against them in the name of Jesus. When they set traps to see to it that you will fall in immorality may it bounce back in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Jehovah God is fighting for you. Jehovah God is giving you victory. Jehovah God is giving you a laughter of a lifetime. You will serve God under an open heaven. You will serve God in breakthrough. You will excel in the name of Jesus. As I declare it so shall it be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. From wherever you are somebody you can say amen in Jesus mighty name. 